Well, hello everyone, and uh, welcome. I just I'm making this video today to uh, give you an update on us and to to tell you about the video I released this morning. So let's get started. Um, let's see. Earlier in the month, Albert. Uh, moved back in because uh well his brother was a drug problem was coming over there to the house and every time he'd come over he'd want to threaten to fight albert and you know he's like twice albert's size and you know that it would not be a fair fight at all and albert didn't want to fight him albert didn't want to have to go through that hassle every time he came over and no one wanted to do anything about it finally he just said enough's enough and he just he left he took what he could and he just left and that's it he said he's done so i've not been able to do much um been doing a lot of cleaning and putting the house plants and if you all have seen you know the videos you know i have a ton of house plants um been putting them outside uh albert's been doing all sorts of work and hasn't been able to take me out anywhere well finally uh a couple nights ago we finally got the time it was in the evening <laughs> we took the time actually but uh and we were only gone for about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Sorry about that. Um, so we took the time and we went out and we were going down just to the, the covered bridge, which you haven't seen that part yet. But uh, along the way, the camera that I have is super light sensitive. Actually, both the camera on the one phone and the handheld camera I have, um, they're both very light sensitive and they pick up every little bit. And as I'm filming, it's really getting pretty dark outside. You can see very little, but yet, in the camera it's picking it up and it looks almost like daylight out so don't let that throw you in this um it is later in the evening uh the cemetery was one i knew existed and i knew who was buried there um because i knew that's where the isis the ice family members are buried and there's so much more to that story that uh i could tell you all in fact i think i will to tell you about the video i have to go back and give you a little bit of history on everything to uh fully appreciate the story for it's just Just for sheer interest. Now, William Isis' father, the boy who was kidnapped by the Indians, his father moved from Amsterdam in the Netherlands after having grown up in Europe and he attended these fancy schools in Germany and he was well educated. He could speak five or six different languages. He left Europe and came to the US and did a number of different jobs. One of them was uh, having a farm. Of course, a lot of people did to uh, make ends meet. And he was also a surveyor and uh, did other things. His name was originally Friedrich Eich. Well, 
in the translation and coming to America, it got changed to what it is now, ice. And his name, wa name was Americanized as Frederick. Frederick married a Mary, and they had a family, two girls, two boys, and they had a farm east of here in uh, Hampshire County, I believe. And it was on that farm that a group of Mohawk Indians decided to raid one day. The father and the oldest son had gone off for supplies. And while they were gone, the Indians came. They killed Mary and took William and his two other sisters and brought them west uh, to some place they believe in Ohio. Well, William was with them for a while with the Indians until he finally managed to escape and break free. And when he did, he slowly traveled. And this it was over a period of years. Uh, it was probably about 10 years total tops. He traveled back and then he made his way to Pittsburgh. And from there he got a job surveying and he came south to Morgantown where he discovered his father and older brother. And they were reunited then. But it took many years for that to happen. Well, anyway, Friedrich, or Frederick, as he was known now, he uh, ended up investing in uh, a ferry operation across the Cheat River. And this ties in with some stuff we've shown you before because I can show you the, that portion of the video right now. When Frederick died at 114 years old, he drowned, by the way. He was buried on an island in the middle of the Cheat River. Well, a couple hundred years later, they come along, dam up the river, and flood the island where his grave was. So now his grave is underwater, and they figure it's right about where that metal bridge is. It should be right underneath it someplace. Now, some more uh, interesting news. Um, William's brother, older brother, that went with the father to get supplies and everything, his name was Adam. He was the first documented person to be born this side of the Allegheny Mountains. The first white person born this side of the Allegheny Mountains. Another fun fact, Adam and Frederick also bought property around Barrickville on all sides, of, on each side of the property that William owned. So the Isis controlled a big area of land throughout there. And I found it amusing, but I didn't bring it up in the, the story because I didn't want to throw off the pace of it. But I found it funny because, okay, William Ice or Indian Billy, as they refer to his name, because he was raised by the Indians. His father was very well educated. William did not even know the alphabet. He never even learned the alphabet. He could not read or write, or anything. I, I found that, you know, kind of very 
ironic. But uh, after, after he, you know, he founded the settlement there and everything and started up everything, you'd think they would have named it Iceville, right? Or something along those lines. But no, 30 years after Barrickville was settled, in comes a blacksmith by the last name Barrick. And they named the town after the blacksmith. And another interesting story, because these are all intertied here. A, an ancestor, or it might have been that same barrack, the blacksmith, that he started up a company, a business. They made the bolts that went to that covered bridge, which ironically was saved by the great-grandson of William Ice. But no, no. Now uh, all around Barrickville, about all you'll find is, uh, I, well, I believe there is an Ice's run, but... Uh, Ice Cemetery is about the only thing, you know, presently, as far as I know, really associated with the Isis still in present-day Barrickville. Now, in the video itself, um, we were on our way to uh, the covered bridge and just thought, we knew the cemetery was there somewhere. We'd never been to it. And then we thought, well, there's a little bit of daylight left. Let's stop off of here. It wasn't very much daylight. It was very, very dim. But we were like, let's stop here. And then by the time we get to the bridge, it'll be dark. We weren't really expecting to get much. We wanted to just go up. You know, just look, check it out, scope it out, take a few pictures, stuff like that, which is what we did. And we weren't really expecting to get anything. So I start taking pictures, and every picture I take turns out blurry. Some worse than others, but every one of them is blurry. I cannot take. A picture that is not blurry with that camera in that cemetery I don't know what's up and just by sheer coincidence one of the last pictures I took is the one that I show in that video it has all those anomalies in it very incredible and in that picture I show I write down you know, that this is a figure with a question mark. You can kind of make out a tombstone, but at the same time, there's like something else seems to be standing there that has a head and arms. So it's almost like you're seeing the, the headstone through the body of this figure who was in the cemetery, we were alone there. There was nobody else in that cemetery at all. At that hour, 9 o'clock at night, there was nobody there. And then I caught those light anom anomalies, which I think are orbs. I think they're orbs in motion. They're lit up. And going at the rate of speed that they are, they leave like a light trail behind them, which is what gives them that snaky appearance because they don't move in a straight line. They move in different ways. And then behind the third light anomaly, the yellow light, there seems to be two figures standing there, like an adult and a child. Misty, 
figures. You can barely make them out, but you can, kind of. And I wasn't sure about them, but I put them in there just uh, just so you all could take a look at them and give me your your thoughts on it. I was so happy I got that picture, though. It just it just seems to be a one of those one in a million shots you just catch at the right moment, and it it showed up everything that uh, we were hoping it would, you know. And more, actually more than I could hope for. So anyway, that's the uh, the rest of the story behind that video. I uh, hope you all have had a chance to watch it and enjoyed it. Uh, next video will be going on to the covered bridge. And we did EVPs there and filming and you'll have to see what we get there anyway yeah stuff has just been so busy here um with albert being away for over a year there's so much i couldn't do by myself and it it just went untouched for over a year uh, the yard and everything pretty much went untouched for a year and now everything's a mess. The house, he started painting before his sister died and he had to move in with his mom. And now, you know, he's he's coming back and he's finishing up what he had started then. And he's cleaning up the yard and he's taking stuff outside, plants outside and cleaning inside and moving stuff and throwing stuff out. And, it has just been chaotic and it's hard to find free time i grabbed this moment free now because he had to go to the store so i had some free time to talk to you all here but normally he's here and the tv's going if he's if he's not in the house i i, I have some time but i never know what he's in and out all day long So it kind of limits my time for doing the daily card thing. I'm going to have to work out a new schedule for that if I'm going to continue doing that. But uh, I hope I didn't forget anything. I um, wanted to show you. I got uh, this pack of stickers, which I thought was cool because they're tiny little tarot cards. That one's called the coffee, and uh, uh, that's always spooky. La mort, which means death in French. And there's just all sorts of neat ones, pretty artwork, and stuff uh, there's strength and they're they're just stickers for to do whatever with I don't know if I'm gonna use them or not though they're so cool looking most of them okay but that's about everything we will try to get out and do more filming especially as summer gets here I do not want to be stuck in this house and to be honest I was going stir crazy <laughs> Wanting to get out and do some filming and do something. Just, I'd been stuck in the house for like a month and a half, only going out to doctor's appointments. And I was going absolutely out of my mind. And that one little, it took about an hour, hour and a half. That one trip helped me so much, I will tell you. And it just made me happy as a clam because I love making videos. I enjoy doing that. And uh, you can't work 24-7, you know. You got to have other things in your life. And uh, while stuff needs to get done, you know, there has to be some free time too for other things. 
take time to appreciate the little things in life because you, you only go around once and once you're gone, well, unless you believe in reincarnation and then that's another story. You go around once again and again and again and again. <laughs> Anyway, enough of this nonsense. You all have a blessed Saturday. Peace. Believe because the spirits are out there. And you all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.